Here we're making merit today for, the, for Grandma, who for many years was the cook here at the monastery. And she died in the saddle. She put the rice on the stove, didn't feel quite right, went into the bathroom, and then had a heart attack. That was it. Then she told me she didn't want to stay in the monastery unless she could be of help to the monastery. So she's, she was of help all the time she was here. She was a good example for all of us, the, the ability to keep on going up to the very last, to keep doing good as much as you can up to the very last, because the body's going to slough away. It's going to, first this part's going to malfunction, that part's going to malfunction, then eventually the whole thing goes. And all too many people, when the parts begin to malfunction, they just give up. But you want to see, as, as the parts begin to malfunction, how much good you still can do. There was the case of the woman who typed up all the talks in the John Mahabua's collection that he'd given to that one woman who's dying of cancer. The woman who typed them up, she was quite old herself. She had retired, she was a retired doctor, but she was able to type the whole thing. Two monstrous books, even at the age of 80. So as long as you still have the strength, you want to do whatever take whatever strength you have and give it to the practice, because that it all gets given back to you many times over. So always think about that. If there's an opportunity to do good, always go for that opportunity. As we're dedicating merit here for Grandma, we want to make sure your merit is good. Like we're given donations, we're observing the precepts, and we're meditating here. Make sure the quality of the mind is something you would like to center, because it's kind of again, it's the kind of thing you would like to be sent. In terms of the quality of the mind, it's the more the mind can be one, the higher the quality. It's like fruit. A particular, particular kind of fruit is f filling the market. The fruit doesn't have much price, but if there's only one piece of that fruit in the market, it's going to have a really high price. So the same, it is, the same with your mind. As long as there's one object for the mind, the quality of the mind, the worth of the mind gets raised. So to try to make your mind one here, and then dedicate that to all the people who've done good for the monastery, all the people who, in whose debt we are. In fact, we've got a monastery here and that is continuing to function. It's taken a lot of work getting this started just from the ground on up, below the ground on up, too. All the things had to be buried underground, so we could have activities on top of the ground. So remember that you're always in somebody else's debt, and so you want to do good so you can repay that debt. And this is the best way to repay the debt, is by doing good, being generous, being virtuous, meditating. That's how you repay your many debts to the world. And of course, you yourself benefit at the same time.